I decided to make a video uh, reviewing Rick Atkinson's Liberation Trilogy from World War II books. I got these for the Christmas in 2014, and I got a knack for pretty much picking knowing what I like. And I so this it wasn't a surprise that these were as good as they were. And I decided to help people out. I just finished these today. It took me about a month and a half, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the the hardbound bookcase they come in, and I'm gonna explain each of the books and what's in them and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> hope you guys can see these. And I, I highly recommend if you get them, go the whole nine yards and get the uh, hardbound version. Don't short hit because um, you're going to love these things. Uh, they're going to work if you're a somebody that's just trying to broaden your horizon a little bit with history. Uh, and and it's, it, it's easy enough reading, but it's also just positively delicious for those of us, and I consider myself as, a, you know, get into history a little bit more detailed. Um, the first one was written in 2002, and I waited until they all got done before I got them. Uh, the first one is An Army at Dawn, um, and it's about, as you can see, the war in North Africa, 1942-1943, specifically the torch landings in Morocco and Algeria, and let me get this right way. And, uh, of course, the liquidation of the Germans in uh, Tunisia uh, in April 1943. And uh, it's the shortest of the books, as you might imagine. Uh, the second book was the one I originally thought would be the best one for me. Uh, because, I mean, with the Northwest Europe, so much has been written. But this one, uh, The Day of Battle, uh, is about the war in Sicily and Italy from uh, 1943 and 1944. And you're right there comes in gold. This is a little bit longer. Um, it's about 587 pages, I think. And again, because, I, you know, as far as Sicily and Italy, a um, little bit more obscure uh, battlefront in World War II. Um, keep in mind, though, this does stop after the liberation of Rome um, in June 5th, 1944, because everything basically shifted to Northwest Europe uh, at that point. Probably it would have been just a little bit better um, if it discussed this attack up to the Po Valley uh, in April 1945. But just tremendous reading, tremendous reading. Um, and then the last one turned out to be the best one, which shouldn't surprise anybody, uh, considering the history that's covered here. Uh, the Guns at Last Light, and it's about the war in Western Europe. Uh, it does include uh the attack in, in uh southern france in uh august, august 15 1944 so that's kind of a bonus i didn't know if it would uh, include that or not um all in all excellent excellent books to have i highly recommend them just, just to buy them if you can afford them uh to add to your library uh i'd love to have this guy actually autograph these uh, i will say one other thing he's so good uh, describing history um, and conveying the description stuff the, the, in, the, in the last book, uh, some of the descriptions of the liberation of the concentration camps, I mean, it's kind of familiar, uh, but in a way it was kind of troubling a little bit. It's kind of one of those deals you, you read a couple of paragraphs, then you just kind of stop and you just, you just want to think for a few minutes, um, you know, but kind of disturbing, disturbing stuff. Most of the stuff I'd heard about before, I never heard it described in such a way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and post down below. I'd love to answer um, anything you got. Thanks.